Hi everyone, this is Dane, and I'm going to be doing a reading that was requested on Princess Eugenia and her fiancé, Jack Brooksbank. And you would think with all the readings that I'm doing on the royal couple that I was very interested on the royal family in the royals, but I don't really know too much about them, guys. So we're going to see how this reading pans out. I've already shuffled and meditated upon the cards, and I ask that you guys just give this video a thumbs up, and remember to subscribe to keep these videos going for free. So thank you guys so much for doing that. All right, so this is going to be Princess Eugene. I think I said Eugenia. Her name is Eugene. Princess Eugene. And Jack Brooksbank. And this is their relationship, okay? And for the first three cards, it's looking really nice. Oh, okay. Oh, it's still looking really nice. <laughs> this is reassuring. I don't like it when they don't go well. Let's make sure you can see everything okay. All right, cool. Now I know, and I've looked up, that Princess Eugene is an Aries, and Jack is a Taurus. Oh, very nice. And Princess Eugene's cards that she was born under are the Moon and the Hermit, okay? So she is a much more quiet person, a person who can get overwhelmed by the world around her, but who faces her fears quietly and introspectively. And Jack is temperance and the Hierophant. So he is balance and understanding, and he is tradition and, and rules, but not in a stuffy way, in a way that means that he likes tradition, he likes rules, he likes things being laid out a certain way, okay? Which is good, because there's going to be a lot of tradition and rules. So let's begin with Princess Eugene. Here we have the chariot card, which is fantastic. It means that she's boldly moving forward, all right? She has her emotions here, which could be raging around her, but she's confident in her decision in this marriage and who is and being engaged. So she's moving forward confidently. She has an anchor here of love and of understanding. And I don't know, it's an older man, so you see my notes. Jack is older than her, so it could be love and understanding through him, but it also could be a father figure that is somebody that she looks to and that she sits there and wants to emulate, have that love that that, that person has had for her in her life, have that love emulated in this relationship, okay? So, or this could be that she is a very powerful person, even though she is more quiet and introspect, and she wants to move forward in a loving relationship, one that brings joy and peace to her life and to the life of her partner, which is beautiful. And even though the world is raging around them with the emotions here, with echoed in the chariot and in the King of Cups, those emotions that are raging around her, she's settling them, okay? I'm jumping a little bit ahead to the next card because she has peace and understanding with the green and pink for love white for purity of intention, okay? And she's going in knowing that love is volatile, it's fickle, okay? But she's committed to this relationship. Here we have the Nine of Cups. In the Minor Arcana, this is also the Wish card for the Minor Arcana. So she's getting what she wishes for. She's having sweetness come into her life, okay? and just an abundance of love and understanding and peace and harmony for herself. The Nine of Wands means that she feels as if, as if sometimes she has to defend her passions, her creativity, what it is that she wants, where it is that she's going. I don't know if she's under a lot of scrutiny or she's you know, finding her place and her footing in the world. Right? Here's a sling around the arm, a bandage around the head. So she's feeling as if at times she has to defend herself and her passions, her creativity, what she wants, where she's going. All right, and maybe even this marriage 
as if people say maybe it's not as equally I'm trying to make sure you can see that line okay it's good I'll stop fidgeting maybe it's not as equally matched as some say it should be you know because he has the worry card here so that could very well be the case I know I'm jumping ahead but they're well suited okay they're very well suited for each other and she's not only thinking about the present and this is also the twin flame card so with the two of wands she's not only thinking about the present but she's thinking about the future she wants happiness in her life she wants a place where she can be passionate and creative and loved and understood and she wants that not just for today but she wants that for days weeks months years to come okay and that's really what she's planning for here and she sees that their passions intertwine their likes and their desires their understanding really do come do like a figure eight into their lives so it's almost eternal um she's a passionate person she's an aries okay she's an aries she's a passionate person so that makes sense she is she sometimes maybe acts before fully thinking everything through and she's learning how to temper that here we have the ten of wands so new beginnings she's taking her bundle her passions her creativity and she's putting them down in a little home this isn't a person who wants all the riches in the world okay she might have them okay but she'd be happy having a nice quiet life and that's kind of what she wants she wants a nice quiet life with somebody who will always have that passion and that desire for her who will always make her feel special and loved and cared for and understood still making sure you can see them okay all right and now this is jack brooks banks brooks bank I like that last name. Six of Wands. This is triumph. This is victory, okay? He's very proud of being engaged to Princess Eugene, okay? And he's moving forward in passion and creativity. God, source, spirit, however you see the divine, is giving him a gift of prosperity. Of course, he's marrying into the royal family, so that's one way of looking at it. But this is also setting him on a new path and saying that you're leaving behind the sorrows, the doubts that you might have had, and you're moving forward in a way that you might never have expected before, okay? And what's interesting is that, okay, I'm gonna do these two cards together, even though we just did this one. So he's having prosperity, which isn't just financial prosperity, but this is whatever he values as much as money, that prosperity is coming into his life, and he's being given that as a gift, all right? And here is the Ace of Swords. So God's Source Spirit, however you see the divine, the universe, is giving him a gift of mental clarity, of really knowing what it is that he wants, where it is that he's going, his place in this world, okay? And the crown for marrying into the royal family would make sense, but also for having, he has good thoughts. I don't know why. Um, He's very passionate about his ideas. He's very passionate about what he does. And he wants to see it succeed. So he has the thoughts, and now he's, has, he's having the actions to, to compound that. Oops. Okay. Here we have the Nine of Swords. So it really does play into line. She has, oh, OK, there are two nines. So this is right before new beginnings start to happen. The Nine of Wands is doubts and fears about creativity and being able to manifest what you want in the world. And for him, he has the Nine of Swords. So he's worried. He's worried that maybe he won't be able to be everything that he's supposed to be. Maybe people will start being disappointed in him. Maybe she'll start being disappointed in him. So they're both worried about how each other will perceive them as as they go through life together, okay? They have a firm base. They really do know each other. I don't know how long they've been dating. <laughs> I didn't look that one up. Um, but they really do, they really do have a firm base, but they are both almost sweetly concerned with how the other is perceiving them. Here, he has the ladder. The swords make the ladder that he can climb out. It's going to be a little bit hard for him to climb out of his own worry, but he's going to climb out of his own worry, okay? Because we have here 
the Page of Pentacles. Okay, this is a message of prosperity. This is a message of being able to achieve what it is that he wants to achieve. He's going to have to pay attention to his dreams because he's going to be getting messages in them. And he's going to see a new dawn start to come for him because he has to rest. He has to regain his energy because he's losing a lot of sleep through the worry that he has. All right. And once he rests and he regains himself, he does have either loyal friends around him or people who really do want the best, or he may even have a dog. I'm not really sure. But whenever I see that dog, there is just loyal friendship. Okay. The veil over the head is pay attention to your dreams. He has his armor on. So he knows that this isn't going to be the easiest ride in the whole entire world. I mean, by that, I mean that he, this is a relationship that people are going to pay attention to. This is a relationship that comes with a lot of responsibilities. Okay. And it might've been easier to marry somebody else, but he's very much committed to this relationship. Now I asked the cards if they would have a loving, committing, committed, lasting romantic relationship. Okay. And I really like what I'm seeing here, which is really good. I'm very happy about that. Here we have the strength card. So this is both of them using kindness as their strength. And that's echoed again in the Queen of Cups, using their kindness, using their understanding as their strength. Here in the Rider Wright Tower deck, it's usually a lion with a young girl hugging him or petting him, something I can't remember. Um, but here it's a warrior with a boar. And as you guys know from previous readings that I do, the boars, the boars were terrifying. Boars are terrifying. And in medieval times when they would go and they would hunt the boar, it was a big deal because you could be speared through. You could die. The bristles make it very hard to stab the boar. And it was, it was a real event. Okay. So the fact that this soldier, this warrior, this knight is riding beside an enemy is a great thing. Okay, because they've come together out of kindness. They come together out of understanding. And now, instead of them being enemies, instead of him hunting the boar, they're now allies. All right? So this is strength through kindness, through understanding. And that's what the Queen of Cups is saying, too. Raging emotions, the world raging around them, they're their anchor in the storm. And it's beautiful because... Well, we'll leave this one out like that. Because she has the King of Cups echoed in her line and it's straight across which really does mean that they are moving forward with love at their center okay and that this love and that could very well be what he sees as a, vish, a gift as valuable as gold okay is that they have a love for each other one that's firmly based okay and that was freely given and they really want to see each other be happy and they really want to see each other be the people that they want to be, okay? Because they're still growing, they're still gaining an understanding of themselves as individuals, but as a couple, it really does seem here that they really do have their feet firmly planted on the ground. The Six of Cups is a wish for love as a child. It could be children, they could have two children, okay? But it's almost as if they've really grown knowing each other and this is a person that they really want to spend their lives with, okay? It's a wish for love. It's what you thought love would be like when you were little and playing make-believe, all right? Or even just daydreaming. Here is the Hierophant, okay? Which is an echo to... Oh, that's cute. Okay, here. We have the Hierophant and we have the Hermit. Hierophant is one of Jack's birth cards and the... Hermit is one of Eugene's birth cards. And by this, I mean the cards that they were born under, the, the two tarot cards that they were born under. Eugene, Princess Eugene was born under the moon and the hermit, and Jack Brooksbank was born under temperance and the hierophant. So the hierophant here is tradition, it's ideas. It's also because the hierophant here is portrayed, portrayed as a bard instead of as a pope with monks at his feet. That's on the right or right tarot deck. Here he's a bard, and that means that they're concerned also about the way people perceive them, how they are talked about, all right? They have their armor on, so they very much know that they can protect themselves. And the Hierophant here very much echoes to me a calmer, softer version of the 
Yes, the emperor, okay? So it's moving forward with tradition and ideas, really knowing who they are, where they're going. Also, this is the marriage card. This is one of the marriage cards. You can interpret it that way. So moving forward towards marriage, because that's a traditional path to take. They both are grounded by tradition. It, it settles them. It makes things just maybe a little bit easier. It's like, okay, we have to do it this way. We have to do it that way. And it takes out some of the guesswork. All right? And some of the things, yeah, okay. Some of the things that they worry about. She worries about being able to manifest in the world what it is that she wants to manifest. He has his thoughts and ideas that sometimes feel overwhelming for him. But they fall back on tradition. They fall back on knowing this is right. We're moving forward in a correct way. And loving that healing and that understanding for each other. Now, with the Hermit card, it means that they're turning inward. They're going to be turning more inward, more to gain that understanding. Here we have a wand here for guiding your footsteps. And here we have a wand here for lighting your way. So their passions and their creativity is actually going to light their way for them. And it's going to help guide their steps. They have a flexibility of mind and also a flexibility of spirit, indicated by the snake card by the snake right down here, all right? So they're moving forward with that flexibility of mind, that flexibility of spirit, that understanding of self, okay? And they're getting that deeper, deeper understanding of self. So they're moving on in this, in this, on this journey together, okay? And they start gaining that deeper understanding after they're married, right? And I don't see any reason here at all why they wouldn't be married. We have the Queen of Swords, which some of you know, people have a negative aversion towards because they think she's rather witchy, sharp-tongued, all these things. I really love the Queen of Swords. She represents an air sign, but she also represents somebody who knows her mind, okay? And who's not afraid to say it. And I think they're gaining confidence in themselves. They're not going to be rude or crude or, you know, flippant towards their responsibilities. They're going to be just in what they do and they're going to start being more authentically themselves and this is reiterated with right above their relationship card is the devil card and you know guys if you've watched other readings that I do this is a positive card this is a card that says you know I'm cutting my ties from the past and I'm moving forward in a way that is positive for me so letting go of those ties in the right or white tarot deck it's a man and a woman naked, chained to a devil, an atypical horned, hoofed devil. Here it is, a man cloaked in a deer skin with antlers on his head, a wolf guarding his feet, who is, you know, living his life the way that he wants to. So they're going to find a way to live their life they want to while still taking in the importance of the position that she was born into and that he is marrying into. Here we have, to match that, the Knight of Wands. So moving forward in passion and creativity, moving forward towards what you want, having your armor on, being able to protect yourself, but cutting the chains that have been holding you back because you think you're supposed to be perceived a certain way, you think you're supposed to live a certain way, and you realize, I mean, here the card seems to be saying that she compares herself to other people, and that would make sense, but when under the moon in the hermit card, because she compares herself to other people, and she finds herself wanting, okay, and then she turns inward. But what she has to realize is that the fear that she fe feels is wisdom, okay? She's gaining wisdom. And even though it might be overwhelming and it might be scary, she's gaining deeper insight into not only herself, but into the world around her, okay? And she's moving forward in blessings. The Hermit card means that she's going to see that being quiet, being more introspective, really relying on her own judgment is what's going to help her become the person that she wants to be. For him, with the Temperance card and the Hierophant, finding that balance, that balance between the spiritual and the earthly realm, really having that calm within himself, and that's probably what attracts them to each other. They both are calmer people. Okay, and have that desire to be a calmer, more grounded person. And he likes tradition. He likes rules. He likes things being a certain way. Okay? And so both of them embracing who they are unapologetically. Because you can't change the cards that you were born under. And you can't change who 
you are and who your spirit is and what your spirit is. So moving forward with passion and creativity, youthful vigor here too. So not sitting there and saying, oh, well, I can't do that. I'm too old. Oh, I can't do that. And this and that. They're not seeing any limitations put on them and they're not putting limitations on them. Actually, they're cutting away the limitations that they might have seen when they were younger or felt or even created for themselves. And now it's time to move forward, truly embracing who they are and what they want to be and really letting love be their guide, which sounds a little sappy, but is definitely true for them. They're stronger together as a couple. They give each other encouragement and, and love, okay? And even though they might doubt about the wedding, they have fears and want to be sure that they can do this right and that they can pull it off, okay? And by pull it off, I mean pull off a happy, lasting marriage. And they worry about that, but they will be able to. They have to rely not only on each other, but on themselves as individuals, not to lose their individuality. The Queen of Swords very much says to keep your individuality, keep yourself going yourself, keep yourself as an individual moving forward, okay? Keep that sense of being one person instead of being one person and one person coming together to make, you know, one super person. No, you have to have your individuality. He has to have his individuality. And then you come together. And because you're two still strong individuals, you come together to make each other better and to build each other up when there are weak spots for the other one. And that's what they're really going to try and do, do here. They have this love. And it's a love that they've dreamed of as children. And they might have two children. Who knows? We'll see as time evolves. But, Yeah. This is really beautiful, and I was really happy to do this reading for them. All right, thank you guys. If you give this video a thumbs up, that would be brilliant. Also remember to subscribe, and I wish you all nothing but peace, love, joy, and happiness. Bye.